What's up guys, this is Josh, ATM Technician. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to replace the receipt paper on your printer. So when the receipt paper is out, it's gonna show up with a printer heads up error. Either it has a paper jam or it's just out of paper. So this is how we're gonna replace it. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna open up the top cabinet of your ATM, slide this all the way out to make it easier on yourself. You're gonna take your receipt paper. When you put this receipt paper in, you wanna make sure that the roll is facing down. You can take your nail and scratch the top to make sure it leaves a mark because this is a thermal printer and you want that facing up at all times. So you're gonna take your receipt paper, you're gonna slide it on here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna feed it underneath this little black bar here and then over the top of the white and you're gonna slightly push it in, it's gonna auto feed. Keep pushing it in and then there's a little button right here that you're gonna wanna press. It's gonna come all the way through you're gonna grab this extra paper and you're gonna give it a little pull and it's gonna auto cut. So once you get the receipt paper on, you're gonna to wanna to take this little green knob and it really goes on only one way. You push it on here and you wanna make sure that it's flush. I usually use my finger and press it all the way up. Make sure it's flush so the receipt paper has a little bit of play but not too much and it should make for an easy feed. Close it all the way up. And then you're gonna to want to initialize the machine. So you're gonna to wanna to do clear, enter, one, two, three. Enter your unique passcode. And then just press this button in the upper right hand corner that says initialize. Once the machine is initialized, you could hit the exit right here in the lower right and then press cancel. So once you're done and you exit all the way out, you press cancel and it pops up with this home screen that says please enter your card and that's how you know you did it correctly when there are no error messages popping up. And that should be all that you need to know. Thank you.